To introduce myself a bit, I'm now working for 20 years in children's television, starting at ZDF, um, starting at a news uh, children's show, then uh, going further to online, made this for several years, and then for the last four years I went to Kikam, the German's children channel, and now I'm back at ZDF, uh, where I basically came from. Um, I want to talk, before um, um, I go on, I just want to show a short trailer, just to show what kind of content we basically have. It's just a, a short uh, walkthrough. We work together with, with great companies, we work together with great artists, writers and producers and partners. So thank you for, in, uh, at this moment, thank you for your ideas and your skills and your imagination so that we can create those great content that we see together right now. So these are short, uh, yeah, applause to you, the, the creators that do those great things with us. Now let's talk about um, what we are looking for in a way. I hope not in this role. Um, uh, ZDF is a public broadcaster, so what we do, um, 3 to 13 years is our target age, um, target groups that we do. We do all genres and all formats um, in animation and in live action and all sorts of children's content because we are a full content provider also for Kika. Um, we can talk about all sorts of projects, so if you are ha having some problems, uh, some, some projects with you, um, don't be ashamed, uh, don't, don't be shy, come with us and talk to us. I also give you some email addresses later on where you can um, uh, can send your projects to. Most interested, we are uh, right now in the content for 8 to 12, um, even though we are still thinking about the whole um, the whole spectrum from preschool to uh, start schoolers to preteens. So 8 to 12 is basically what we're looking for most. Um, we've seen a lot of facts and figures um, from my colleague before, what uh, kind of uh, screen world children live in right now. Um, what we have at ZDF, we have our own video app um, launched last September, so we're still making experiences with this uh, straightly non-linear app. We also have a new web application uh, where on-demand is the center. On-demand video content more or less is the center. Um, animation on-demand, um, as we see, is especially interesting for preschoolers. Um, children, uh, parents are looking for a safe harbor, a safe content for their preschoolers. Um, so curated content, we as a content provider, we it's easy for us to, to provide curated content um, and the preschool section and as we see from the videos the preschool content is uh, on demand, um, the leading takes the leading role on, on um, on-demand content. Um, linear, we have weekends in the morning on ZDF, our channel. Um, and the Kika um, airs from six in the morning until nine in the evening, and we as ZDF provide a third of the content to Kika. It's not all animation, but in the whole, a third of the content that Kika uh, airs comes from ZDF. And I think uh, animation uh, at, on Kika is about 60% of the program is uh, more or less animation. 
So children use various screens, as I said, as we said, as, as we've seen before. This is uh, kind of like the reception, um, as we perhaps some of us uh, experienced in our childhood. Um, the big screen still in the living room, bringing the family together. Um, with some of our programs, we hope that we can achieve this as well. As, as we've seen, um, linear still has some power, and the big screen has some power. So family is not out of focus, and linear is not out of focus. So we still try to reach families today. Um, some partners in us we can achieve this quite well with, um, for example, specials that we do. Um, for example, at Christmas, uh, most of you will know um, the Gruffalo um, or uh, the Highway Red we're going to do with the BBC and, and Michael Rose together um, this year. So those are specials that we do for um, highly profiled slots in TV like holiday or uh, Christmas um, uh, specials for animation. But we're also looking for shorts um, as part of magazines that we do or part of live action shows. So we do animations. Uh, here we have the freedom to do experiments in style and story. For example, here the little boy and his beast. It's quite old, but still one of my favorite short animation uh, films. Um, but also recently um, the song The Bird's Wedding animated in a very, you know, see the styles, so the variety in styles as well. So in these shorts we can, we look for new talents, we look for new animators and smaller students as well so if you have um, some nice projects probably for us um, we can um, come become partners probably we also do series naturally um, historical topics in Siri as we did were partners uh, partnered up with the long long holidays a French production um, um, we are looking for those kind of horizontal stories. We do series in various formats, 12 minutes, 25 minutes, uh, not only horizontal, um, but also episodic stories. Um, we're also doing runes as next coming up. Um, so horizontal stories we are looking for right now as well. I think those longer stories, 25 minutes episodes. Oh, now we're all enlightenment for everyone. Um, genau, this is what we look for in series right now. Um, fantasy is still, we're talking, um, I've been talking about topics that are um, interesting for us. Um, fantasy is still, besides of those historic uh, formats, long, long holidays, uh, all these, uh, these epic so stories like runes. Uh, fantasy, like here, Mia and Me, you also see an example for a mixed format. We have CGI and live action here. Another example for a mixed topic, uh, a mixed genre um, is our uh, one of our major characters at ZDF, Keks, one of our favorite dogs. Um, there's also um, a short format that mixes up live action um, with an animation here. What we're also looking for um, is um, what we've seen just in your presentation. Comedy, humor is on all the subjects and on all the, all the different countries, one of the major um, um, topics that children are looking for. So we are looking for at comedy as well. Um, trends, I was also asked to do, to, to ask, to, to tell some things about trends. Hybrid formats, as we've seen here um, in Seven Dwarfs and Me, or last Christmas um, at Kika, we did uh, Boitolomeos also, uh, a mixed a hybrid format of uh, CGI and live action. So um, also those kind of high-end products we're still looking because I think children are getting used to those kind of things, uh, to those kind of formats, um, and they're very attractive um, to, uh, to, to children. So we need those in our uh, portfolio as well. Um, trends going on for years, nothing, I'm not going to tell you something new, turn books and comics into animated series. This is one of my chill childhood favorites. I also did a lot of pancakes with strawberry uh, jam, uh, rounded up like Petsy did. Um, and I'm very proud that Petsy now comes to, Ki comes to Kika and to ZTF as well. Um, so looking at books and comics that were uh, that were are attractive um, uh, to children and um, being turned into series, or even what we see now, um, old animated series um, are turning into new animated series, like we see at Niels um, Holgersen. Um, also a trend that we see, uh, I think Martin Morning is getting a, a, a redone. So um, even even animated series that are not as old as Niels was are getting a, re a makeover. Um, Talking about um, vari varieties, I've, talk I've said a lot about uh, variety of tra and uh, tall tales. Uh, I forgot to mention also um, um, f funny little bugs, also a remake that is coming up soon, and we are proud to be part of that as well. 
Um, ZDF, we host, as, as, we've show, as, as the trailer has shown and as the picture probably ho hopefully has shown, we, we uh, host a huge variety and range of styles and formats. And that brings me to another topic I want to address shortly, but I want to, s want to uh, mention it today. Um, what we need is a, var a variety in characters when we talk about not only animation and live action as well. But um, we did a, di not we, but there was a study done last year in Germany. Um, it was about um, uh, what, how many f female and male characters, not only in animation, but also in animation, are broadcasted in Germany, in German kids TV. And as you see here, um, male is very dominant in everything, and female not so much. Um, okay, it's nice. Monsters and creatures, most of them are males. Um, but um, it, it really is a topic for us that we um, have a look. Uh, so make sure that you have this in mind. Diversity is also more than just male or female. It's... Uh, in the gender of plants. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mostly, it's uh, it's more male voices than female voices. Mostly, those characters don't even have names. But in the choice of uh, of voices, you also gender them. And as I said, these were the numbers for um, last year Germany. I think so. We are um, sensible in this topic. So, um, and as I said, diversity is not only male or female. It's also gender, race, identity, um, whatever. Um, so, what we are asking for what we're looking for is a huge variety um, in in uh, in characters in in every aspect so keep that in mind when you uh, develop stories and and pitch to us um, this is something we also look at so that's the uh, also one of my favorite surprises um, with with nice content um, these are the addresses um, this is myself at the beginning uh, Michael Stumpf uh, one of my colleagues is also here Irene Velasov um, she's one of the uh, the guys and girls you can contact and also Nico Cape those are the addresses if you have anything to say to us we are looking forward to your ideas and to work with, together with you thank you Michael great